ups, downs in Tampa this season, but bottom line, and really all that matters, the Bucks are 10 and five, and they're in the playoffs. Certainly a contender to play at home in Tampa for Super Bowl 55. Now, the Saints won the division while Tampa grabbed one of the three wild card spots, having won three straight games. Brady and crew helping to turn the franchise around, clinching their first postseason berth since 2007. Ryan, would you say this season is a bust for Brady and the Bucks if they don't reach the Super Bowl? Yeah, it kind of is. And, you know, and I know I know we're going to look at these situations and say, you know, it's his first season in Tampa Bay was a team that didn't even make the playoffs. And now they've at least turned into a playoff team. So like nobody cares about that. Listen, I, and I said it early on this week. I was asked about a successful football season. I played 13 years in the NFL. I had one successful football season. That's the football season that we ended being the last team with a win. That was it. That's the years that count. The Super Bowl years. And when you're Tom Brady and you've been to the Super Bowl nine times and you've won six of them, that's the expectation. That's the expectation you start every year with. That's the expectations he brought with him to Tampa Bay. And so when you don't do those things, you ain't win. You fail. And yes, they are better. And yes, the stats look good. But didn't we expect that? We expected some of the explosion we saw with Jameis Winston. You're going to see that in the 35-plus touchdowns. You're going to see that. You know, he changed the perception or he changed the way that they turned the ball over, which we expected he'll finish with 10 or 11 interceptions. Like, that's who Tom Brady is. But isn't it about winning? Isn't it about elevating this team and making this team not only a playoff contender, but a championship team? And if they don't get there, if they don't have that opportunity at the end of the year, if they're not playing in their home stadium, this season is a failure. Can't cut it any other way. It's Super Bowl or bust I, for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I, and they ain't, and if they don't do it, they lost. Uh -oh. We were agreeing and we were on the same page, but I couldn't hear anything you said after you said, if you ain't win the Super Bowl, your season was a failure. So I just, I just had a whole career, many years. <laughs> Oh, just failure yeah. after failure. I ain't got no trophy, huh? I got no trophy. So I just, I just a, a professional failure. Jeez, man, you had to make it personal. Anyway, Tom, Tom Brady is a different circumstance for Tom Brady in this situation. I think that you can have a season that is successful. Maybe if your season leads to a free agent contract, that's a successful season. Maybe if your season builds into um, a successful team that then later on wins the Super Bowl after you retire, maybe that was a successful season. Maybe these things happen and you could have successful seasons for other players, but not for Tom Brady. Tom Brady had went down to Tampa Bay to accomplish one thing, I would think, to win a Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. That's why he got all these players. That's why Gronk came back. That's why um, Bruce Arians was able, was willing to accommodate Antonio Brown. Like, that is why all this is happening, because Tom Brady wants to win a Super Bowl. I think that he probably entered this season with two goals. One, to demonstrate that he can do it without Bill Belichick. I guess you could argue that he has yeah. demonstrated that, that he could succeed without um, mm -hmm. Bill Belichick. He's done that. But I think that if he doesn't win the Super Bowl, or at least go to the Super Bowl, we're gonna he's going to walk away from this. That team is going to walk away from this and think it's a failed experiment. You don't put together a super team. You can go to basketball, to the Clippers, or the Lakers, or any team that you have. Yeah. You don't put together a super team like that expecting to get close. <sighs> I, I agree, but I feel like we're being so damn hard on this team. And Tom... You know, Tom is almost like a victim of his own success in a way. It's like the man has so many Super Bowls, and if he doesn't win another one, it's like, uh, well, that was a wasted season. It's like, come on now. Like, he went to Tampa, yeah. like, whole new situation, right? And I was one of those people that got real hype, real hype, like, okay, Tampa's going to win it all. And then talking to those coaches early in the season – it's like, you know, we're putting pieces together that haven't been together after an offseason where we weren't together. No preseason games, all this stuff. Like Brady was a model of consistency in New England, comes to a whole new system during COVID. Like, I think we we overestimate like how easy so what it you're was saying, be Kimberly, for this is, team. So Kimberly, so what you're I saying you, is I know you're not you talking about I know you, you didn't invite me to the show. No, no, to I'm asking a question. I'm asking <laughs> I'm about to give it back to you. I'm just asking the question. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying okay, is Raheem, you ahead. started off the season. You started <laughs> off the season thinking the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to win the Super Bowl. That they brought Tom Brady here to win the Super Bowl. Yes, and they then pushed all you their let chips your reporting. 
You let your reporting and what those people told you make you not believe your first thought. And that is your fault, Kimberly. Right. That's not our fault. No, that's no. your fault. This is a <laughs> failure. No, we it's a listen. Failure. No, we not go. We are not going to gang up on me here. No, we are not. So <laughs> this is. Let the me thing. know when I can speak, Kimberly. Uh, we, tomorrow. <laughs> so we, when you t like, I think we get. It. This is the Aaron Rodgers and Mahomes situation all over again. We get, we're prisoners of the moment. We think like we're onto the next best thing. Like, oh, we, we hype everybody up. And when they don't meet our lofty expe expectations, it's like, oh, well, th this was a waste. This is trash. I agree. Like they push all their chips in the table. Getting Antonio Brown, that was the thing that was like, okay, they really, it, it's Super Bowl or bust. But yes. all I'm saying is Tom Brady has done enough in his career. The six round pick has proven himself that he is a champ. And even if they do not win a Super Bowl, I do not think it is a failure, personally. I don't. I don't. Thank I think you. that's a little too harsh. Now, okay, ahead, so though. the question... I, I got something else. The question, go ahead, the question was oh, not, God. is Tom Brady's career a failure? <clears throat> like, we all, expect, we all understand right. that. Right. And you, uh, okay. a couple segments ago, you brought up a relationship analogy. So I'm going to bring one up to, to talk about this one. You said, or I, I see this at the beginning of this conversation, you said that Tom Brady won six Super Bowls. Tom Brady mm -hmm. has created those expectations. That's something that yes. I learned yes. early on in my relationship is that you don't earn points. Like you think you're doing something nice. That don't put no money in the bank for you. All you doing is create expectations. You cook dinner a couple <laughs> times. You're like, oh, this is nice. Oh, and then the next week yeah, comes, and I'm like, mm -hmm. it's Thursday. It's Thursday. Where's dinner? <laughs> so Tom Brady created for, yeah. for us. Oh, this show, Tom bro. Brady started cooking dinner oh. for us every day of the week. <laughs> and Tom Brady wake up and give me a kiss before he go to work. Tom Brady come home and he hug me. He had my slippers ready. Tom Brady run a bath <laughs> for you. And every time I get home, I expect Tom Brady to give me all those things because that's what he been doing for his entire but oh, Tom me, Brady for is our entire relationship. Not so. <sighs> it's about the expectations. Yes, Kimberly, it's a Kimberly. failure. The expectations Kimberly. are up there because of them. It's a, it's a because here's the thing. Like you can have a great movie and not win an Oscar, right? You can put out a great album and not win a Grammy. You can't have a great season and not win a Super Bowl if you're Tom Brady. Like well, it, it just to it Dominique, just doesn't happen. That's not that's when, not true. When when I, when you when I'm you Tom set Brady. the bar where Tom Brady has set the bar. Like so, so if Tom Brady right now is playing for the New York Jets, I think we feel differently about this, right? But when they put this team together, this was before they acquired Gronk. This is before they acquired Antonio Brown. When we were just looking at Godwin and O.J. Howard and Mike Evans and looking at some of those young pieces on the defense, when they acquired Tom Brady, we all said this team is a championship contender. Period. It wasn't on, oh, we had COVID. It wasn't on, oh, we trying to piece some things together. None of these excuses that started to come once they started playing football and we realized, oh, hell, this might not happen, right? Everybody said from the beginning it was going to take some time to jail. So nobody, I didn't expect them to beat the New Orleans Saints early on in the season. But what you mm -hmm. did expect is that they'd continue to ascend and then Tom Brady, the greatest of all time, would be right there in the thick of things, which they are. And this would be yeah, a Super Bowl yeah, team. This would be the first team. Oh, this would be the first team to play at the crib at the, for the Super Bowl. And if it don't <laughs> happen, it's a failure, Kimberly. And I, don't be so nice. Yeah. You can say it. They fail. It's all right. <laughs> this is the first time I've been called nice on this show. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I, but I, does I, the failure listen, necessarily is, rest on Tom argue Brady's this. shoulders? <clears throat> You can you. It's not Said necessarily against, for Tom Brady. It's for that team. But I do think that Tom Brady came there. He is the centerpiece. He's the quarterback. He's the reason why we think that they went from Jameis Winston to him. That's the reason why we think that they are a championship team. So yeah, it's going to land on him, and he's. I'm sure he's comfortable with that. So I, I think that we all see it this way. I don't know how Kimberly ended up where she does, but I imagine that the same thing is true in that building. I, if you hook them all up to polygraphs, I'm pretty sure all of them would acknowledge that as soon as they signed Tom Brady. 
You, when Leonard Fournette signed to go down there, when AB came out of uh, oh, not retirement, when AB AB signed with them, <laughs> when Gronk came out of retirement, they all came there because they was planning on winning a Super Bowl, expecting to win a, a Super Bowl. That's why they let Jameis go. That's what they were doing. None of them yeah. and none Tom of us no, hey, should view this no season anything block, else man. but a disappointment. <laughs> yeah, Tom ain't no building block, right? Like this old building block. Yeah, yeah. This, this, this is not like a rookie quarterback, and you're going, "Hey, man, we got to the division playoffs this year. Wait till next year when Tom's 24." You know what I'm saying? Wait till his second year in the league. Like, dude's 43, right? You didn't bring Tom here so you could have on your resume. Went to the divisional round this year. The next year, we went to the AFC Championship, and look, we finally got to the Super Bowl. No, Tom Brady is a win now. Peace. He's not a building block. He's the whole dang house. And if they don't do that, right, if Tom Brady plays there two years and they don't win the Super Bowl, this was a failure. Because guess what happens in two years? Well, Tom plays till he's 50. I don't know. But if Tom's done that, then this two-year span, right, it's over. And you're wasted because you don't have a building block. You got to find a new quarterback. It's not like you built a program around him. You're starting all over. This is a championship or nothing move. If they don't win it, if they're sitting at home with us in front of our TVs with, with buffalo chicken dip and with, with mozzarella sticks watching the game. Tom Brady don't eat that, but I will. If they're doing that. Avocado ice cream. Failed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, Kimberly, go ahead. It's fine. We're, the segment's almost over. There's enough time for you to admit that you're wrong, that if Tom Brady is not choking the trophy at the end of the season and giving it a smooch, that it's a failure. I it's okay. Listen, I understand. Listen, I understand Brady, yeah, guys, Brady we, has that mentality. I get it. I understand. We won. All right, well, we do have to move on from this. You know, there's still some time to determine whether or not the Buck season is a failure, but I'll tell you one thing. We already know.